Hello, my beautiful darling cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. Um, I have my main channel, Tarot of Light. And then I also have another channel that I had opened up called Divine Spirit Healing 1111. Um, I opened this channel a long time ago and my purpose for this was to uh, create content for people that were going through situations in their life and just giving guidance on how to get through that, okay? So if you would like to email me with any requests that you have at divinespirithealing1111 at gmail.com, um, I will go ahead and start creating content like if you're in a third party situation, if you're having trouble with family, whatever the case may be, and we'll, we'll start doing videos on guidance on anyone that may be going through the same thing, okay? So I'll have that information posted below. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Uh, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know um, when the winners are announced. I do a monthly giveaway on this channel. I give away two five-question emergency readings uh, on the first of every month, so hashtag reading in the comment section below. Um, if you'd like to check out my tarot tutorial, the link is below. If you'd like to book a reading with me, the info is below. And if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, the links are below, okay? Um, so guys, these readings, uh, the everything you need to know right now readings are jam-packed with info. We're going to be doing self-care oracle. We're going to be doing future predictions, spiritual messages, karmic messages, general messages. We're going to be doing love readings, single readings, uh, career and finance and cancer and all 12. Not everything will resonate with you. Take what you need to hear and what's meant for you and leave the rest for the next person. Okay. All right, my darlings, let's get popping. Let's see what we have here for my beautiful cancer babies. Okay. We're going to pull four self-care cards to see what you need to be focusing on right now. Okay, so Cancer, I feel like many of you have been um, going through this phase of losing faith in your manifestations, losing faith in the things that you believe in. It says here, remove the doubts and questions. You are ready to step into your blessings and claim what is already yours. So Cancer, I feel like some of you are losing faith in love, losing faith in money, losing faith that things are ever going to get better, okay? Okay. Spirit is telling you the reason why these things are not coming to you is due to shadow work. Uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. You are not ready to receive the love, the money, the things that you've been manifesting in your life because you still, you may think that you don't, but you do. Um, a lot of cancers have a tendency to take negative things that have happened to them and we have like a Monica's closet. For those of you who have ever watched Friends, you'll know what I'm talking about. So Monica was like OCD, right? And she had this one closet that was a disaster. She would clean clutter from her house and she would put everything in this closet and it was a disaster, okay? So many of you are under this impression that because you feel like you've organized your energy, you're not looking at Monica's closet. You're not looking at, you, you've shoved a lot of things into a closet and made everything in your energy appear to be sparkly and clean, but it's not. You gotta dig a little deeper. You're gonna have to go in that closet where you have tossed all those bad you know, feelings and repressed emotions and things that have happened to you. You gotta pull them out and you gotta organize it and you gotta fix it, okay? There is a need to clear your energy, refuel your energy and reclaim your power. Uh, what spirit is telling you, all these negative things that you're pushing to the side and not focusing on, it is affecting your energy. It is like a cancer inside of you, okay? That you just don't want to acknowledge because it's too painful to open that door, go in that closet and look at these things. But if you can manage to do that, you would be clearing your energy, reclaiming your power, and being able to think, love, and feel, and act in a healthier way, okay? Once you do this, Cancer, you will be rediscovering yourself. What are your interests? Are you hiding yourself to please other versions of you? So, Cancer, you know, many of you, because you keep these, um, 
uh, things inside of you, it causes you to maybe become a people pleaser, uh, to jump through hoops to people, uh, for people, excuse me. Um, you know, uh, maybe uh, buying things, doing things, loving people in a way where you're seeking validation, okay? So Spirit is saying that once you clear your energy of this, you are going to be rediscovering a different side of yourself, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do spiritual messages. Think of two yes-no questions. We'll do the yes-no questions after the spiritual messages, okay? Spirit, tell me about cancer. What spiritual messages does cancer need to hear right now? Spiritual messages for cancer right now, please. Spiritual messages for cancer. Okay, toxic. Be careful not to overindulge in alcoholic beverages or drug use. We've got evil omens sending you insects, blackbirds, snakes, and rats. Okay, cancer, if um, you start seeing mice around your house, rats around your house, snakes in your garden, um, blackbirds, insects, um, like just weird flies around you or, you know, uh, spirit is advising you someone here is sending you some type of evil or toxic energy and this is how it's going to manifest as a sign for you, okay? Spirit is advising you not to overindulge in alcoholic beverages or drug use because you need your wits about you at this point in time. Someone here is very envious of your career or the money that you make, okay? Misery loves company here, Cancer. So they like others to be as miserable too so that they can feel better about themselves. Cancer, there's people in your energy that just as long as you are underneath them, you're fine. If you're eye to eye with them, they're not too crazy about it. But if you start excelling and doing better than them, they don't like it. Okay, they don't like it. Um, not everybody is going to clap when you win, okay? This person hating on you has very narcissistic behavior patterns. This person may be creating rumors or trying to turn others against you, okay? Tell me about cancer, please. This person may be causing you to feel tired or fatigued, causing dizzy spells, uh, blurred vision, nosebleeds, and loss of hearing, possibly. Um, cancer, you must have a lot of money coming towards you, okay? Um, if you don't right now, I feel like something is about to pop off in your career here. Um, someone is very jealous of your material lifestyle, your home, your cars, your clothes, your career, the money you make. If that's not happening for you now, just hang in there because you're about to have some type of breakthrough in finances and someone here just doesn't like it. You may be getting an unexpected promotion at work and now you're living nice and your coworkers don't like it. There's something here that's about to pop off for you where people are going to be very jealous uh, and envious. Spirit is advising uh, to get a dream catcher and hang it over your bed. Now, as a reader that is, you know, reading these cards to you, I have to say what Spirit is advising you. I had a very bad experience with dream catchers. I hate them, okay? I hate them. I, I woke up one night, and you know, the last time I mentioned this story, someone did say, well, you know, at least you know it did its job, and it is true. It is true, okay? I had a dream catcher, not over my bed, but like my bed was here, right? Let's just say my bed was here. The dream catcher was right here, like on the wall. You know, this is the wall, and my bed was here. I'm laying over here, and the, you know, I... Did you hear that growl that Freya just did when I'm telling this story? Oh, that shed, sends shivers up my spine. She's beefing with the squirrels. But anyways, the, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was like a low growl. Oh my God. That was, Freya, what are you doing? Scaring the shit out of me. Anyways, so oh, I'm so bugged out when I tell this story. So I was in bed and I went to roll over. And you know when you're sleeping and you go to roll over and you kind of open your eyes for a quick second? In this dream catcher, I see a demon face, okay? I have got, you know, just hair standing up everywhere right now, especially with the way my dog just growled as I'm about to tell the story. There was a whole fucking demon face in this dream catcher. Ladies and gents, your girl almost pissed herself, okay? Your girl, like, you know, because you're, like, in your sleep and you're just blinking like you can't believe what you're seeing, right? You know what I'm saying? And it was in the dream catcher. And the last time I told this story, you know, someone said, well, at least, you know, it worked. It caught it, you know? And that is true. 
It did. But now the problem is, is that every time I see a dream catcher, I see this thing. Like, I see this face in it, and it bugs me out. Like, it was scary. It was one of the scariest. I think that's going to be one of the first uh, videos that I do on my, um, that Divine Spirit Healing channel. I think I'm going to actually give you guys a whole... Uh, rundown of my spiritual experiences from when I was three and a half on okay <laughs> I think that's gonna be one hell of a video okay my spiritual journey um, so anyways so I don't like them but spirit is advising to do it okay this person cannot see you they can't stand to see you shine um, someone here is sending you dark spirits demons to work uh, against you and or trick you this person wants you to live in paranoia they want you to live in fear okay and this is directly due to your finances. So guys, this is someone close to you that sees the way you live. It's either someone in your workplace that knows that you're making a certain amount of money, friends, family members that see you upgrading in life. So please be advised to protect your energy and don't tell people your business, okay? All right, let's do the yes, no questions. Let's focus on the first question please spirit give me the first question yes or no for cancer yes or no for the first question for cancer yes or no for the first question for cancer okay let me move these to where you guys can see them okay right here all right so we've got one two and three one two and three Okay, if you need to pause the video for a minute to pick which one you want, okay, choose one, two, or three. If you chose the first card, we've got maybe, okay? If you chose the second card, we've got yes with the Ten of Cups. Um, and if you chose the third card, the answer is no, okay? This maybe card, I'm not going to clarify it because with that Two of Swords, Spirit is saying it's not meant for you to know right now, okay? Let's do the second question, please, Spirit. Yes or no for Cancer's second question. Yes or no for Cancer's second question. Yes or no for Cancer's second question, please. Yes or no for Cancer's second question, please. Okay, let me put these where you can see them. We've got one, two, and three. Okay, if you need to pause the video, go ahead. One, two, and three, okay? If you chose card one, we've got yes with the six of pentacles. If you co chose card two, we've got yes or no. I'll clarify that one with the lover's card. And if you chose three, the answer is a solid yes, okay? So let's see here. Tell me about number two with this yes or no. Can you give us a, oh, the answer is yes, four of pentacles, okay? So for for those of you who chose number two, it means that your per, whatever situation you just asked about, it's still undecided, but in the future, the answer will be yes, okay? All right, so let's get popping here and let's do some karmic messages. The people that have hurt you, the people that have wished bad on you, what kind of karma are these people facing? Okay, someone here is going to be catfished. Someone here may have a run-in with the law. Horrifying nightmares. Okay, someone here is going to be haunted in their sleep. And someone here is going to experience a very important loss, a loss of a job, a loss of a loved one, a loss of something, okay? Tell me a little bit about the karma that these people are facing, people that have hurt cancer, please. Six of Pentacles and the Strength card. So whatever this person has been receiving, Spirit is pulling it back. If this person made good money, it's coming back. If this person um, was blessed with people loving them or liking them or chasing after them, it's pulling it back. Like this is someone that can't find a date or they can't find love or money is scarce. King, of, yeah, both in money and in love, whatever, this person may have been blessed before they hurt you, both in finances and in love, and that is ending, that is ending the justice card and temperance, and it's not going to stop until karma is satisfied. It's not going to stop until karma is, is satisfied. So this person's love life and financial life are going downhill until karma is pleased. Oh, that just made me jump. Okay. 
All right, uh, what should we do next? Let's do some future predictions. Let me shut this off real quick, guys. I don't want any interruptions. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, what future predictions do we have here for my Cancer babies? Future predictions for Cancer. We've got Spirit. You are protected. Blessings given. Angels deceased. Loved ones, ancestors, and Spirit guides are close to you. Okay? Um, so, Cancer, I feel like your Spirit guides are very close to you. It will happen within a week. I'm seeing funeral on this card, guys. So I feel like if some of you have recently attended a funeral of a loved one, this person is still with you, okay? If, if you know, if, if you guys have a funeral that you're going to within a week, this loved one is still with you, okay? What will be happening here within a week? There's going to be a difficult decision for you to make here about reconciling with a friend, a family member, a loved one. Someone here is seeking your forgiveness. We've got theft. Info. Okay, Cancer, please be careful with your information, things that you're putting online, things that you're telling people, or who you let into your house. Be sure to lock your doors, watch your money, change your passwords. Um, loved ones may be taking advantage of you, so some of you may have a friend, a family member, or an ex coming back into the picture to scam you or to steal your energy here, okay? So please be wary of that. I feel like this person is a friend because we've got friends and winter. So I don't feel like this is romantic, guys. I feel like there is a friend here that wants to bond with you again and wants to befriend you again. But this person is trying to steal something from you. Your energy, your abundance, money, time, energy. I don't know. This person is not a good look. And it is a friend, not a love interest, okay? I feel like your well-being is going to start to be better. You're loving yourself more, healing, resting, relaxing, taking care of you. Um, you have more self respect you're putting up boundaries you're doing your daily affirmations here um, words of affirmations are powerful you're releasing negative thoughts watching the way you speak positive reinforcement with the way you speak some of you uh, could be purchasing a new phone new computer some type of new electronic or appliance here be careful with your phone or your appliances they may end up uh, getting cracked or damaged and you're gonna go ahead and upgrade or be careful when buying new electronics be please be sure to get protection on them okay I feel like uh, some of you could be getting a marriage proposal. We do have Valentine's Day coming up, okay? So guys, you could be going to a wedding or there's going to be some type of commitment or talk of commitment here. Um, I feel that, Cancer, if you are feeling uh, overwhelmed, stressed, overworked, uh, too many responsibilities, um, I feel like it's time to declutter your space and cleanse your energy. Um, some of you could do this with spells, crystals, salt baths, salt showers hours, frequency music, um, cleaning your house, moving things that have been sitting, sitting stagnant for a long time. It will help you overcome some form of spiritual attack. Okay. All right. All right. Let's move on to your love reading. Okay. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. How is cancer's person feeling about them at this point in time? Oh, okay. So we've got only you, cancer. Only you. So cancer, this person, the person that you're dealing with here, um, they are only focused on you. They are aware of how important and valuable you are. I feel like with spying here, I'm feeling two different things. This person may actually be uh, trying to get into your phone or checking your social media to see if you are entertaining any uh, anyone else. Or Cancer, you may come to find that someone here wants to learn more about you, okay? Like someone here is studying you, they want to learn more about you. Um, with beginnings here, this could be someone completely new, or it could be... Um, 
it could be it could be a reconciliation because I'm seeing hurtful words, anger, and resentment here with emotional storm. Okay, so Cancer, what I'm feeling here is whether this is new or whether you have reconciled with your person, Cancer, I feel like you're still very hurt over something. So you could be meeting someone new, and this could be just pain that you have built up from your previous relationship, um, and you're taking it out on someone that has done nothing to you, or it could be you reconcile with your person. But I am seeing you losing it. I'm seeing you sabotaging the connection. I'm seeing you having days where your mental health is not good. You're, you're unstable. You're, you're just sitting, you, you still have a lot of pain inside of you. So you get triggered. That's the word that I'm looking for. You're getting triggered very easily, whether it's a reconciliation or a new, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a new uh, relationship here with clarity I feel like cancer you know you need to see the truth of the situation I feel like cancer with elusive here and bluff you are under this impression that everyone is dishonest everyone is out to trick you everyone is out to hurt you and if they're nice to you they're just wearing a mask um, spirit is asking you to start using your intuition and see that the person that you're reconciling with or the new person in your life is speaking truth. I do feel like whoever you're dealing with, whether it's someone new or it's a reconciliation, this person is devoted to you and attached to you, regardless of how they may have acted in the past. Um, I do see here that with broken, whoever you're dealing with does see that your heart has been deeply broken. They do see that your heart has been shattered and that your view on love is not good, okay? With rejection here, Cancer, I feel that many of you, whether you realize this or not, you have come into some type of avoidant um uh, I forget what it's called. It's like a, an, avoid, an uh, avoidant attachment style where I feel like even if you want this person, you're quick to leave, you're quick to cut it off, you're quick to abandon it because you have this irrational fear at this point that at some point along the line, you are going to get hurt. So whether it's a new situation or a reconciliation, I see you being triggered very easily and attempting to walk away and sabotage the connection even if you don't want to even if you're happy that this new person is in your life even if you're happy that you've reconciled with somebody you're 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 you are not in control of yourself or your emotions right now your fear has taken over um, you have anger you get scared very easily you're like a little scared deer here running for the woods every time something happens okay Tell me about more about this connection, please. So Cancer, I do feel like this person, if this is a new person or an old person, there's an energy here of um, feeling sorry. So if this is a new person and they see that you've been traumatized really badly, it hurts their heart to know that you went through that. Um, if um, it's the old person, this person, it, it, it really hurts their heart to see that they have hurt you so badly, okay? I do feel that for many of you, if you are in childbearing years, this is someone that really wants to have a child with you, okay? Um, this is somebody that, you know, if it's someone new, they're, they feel sorry for the memories that you have that cause you pain, and if it is someone that you've reconciled with, it's an energy of this person knowing that you kind of relive the past, that you know you um you know that you're traumatized that you have ptsd from what they did to you with ecstasy here and finality cancer you're dealing with someone that is done chasing thrills they're done chasing good times they're done chasing third party energies they're done with putting friends and family before you and the connection i feel like with boundaries here cancer this is someone that's understanding that you know enough is enough you've been hurt too much and it's time to um it's time to get serious. The problem is, Cancer, now that you have, with escaping and commitment, now that you have real love here, now that you have somebody that's talking about marriage, talking about having a child, you're pushing it away. You're, you've become avoidant. You've become scared, okay? Um, 
you've become scared of it because it's your fear of being hurt again. Like if I, I'm going to push this away, even if I don't really want to push it away because it's better that I have some form of control over the situation. And I, you know, this ends on my terms instead of me just waking up one morning and it hitting me out of left field. You know, how many times cancer have you woken up on a random Tuesday and you think life is good. You think your relationship is going good and boom, you, you find out that your person has cheated or boom, there's a really bad fight that, you know, takes place. And next thing you know, this person is gone. Okay. Um, you don't want to experience that again. So if you just cause the tower moment, then you have some form of control over when it ends, you know, and that's what you're experiencing right now. I feel like whoever is in your life right now is a twin flame. So I'm feeling very strongly. I have to be honest with you that this is someone that you're reconciling with. And it is someone that you have had a very turbulent twin flame journey with. And you have some form of PTSD or have developed some type of avoidant anxious attachment style where you're scared. You're scared of commitment. You're scared of love. You're scared to trust people. And you get triggered very easily. And what happens is when you get triggered, it's like a tower moment. You want to run. You want to just, you say and do things to sabotage this so that uh, this person just leaves you alone. But I don't think that that's happening. We've got thinking and we've got hoping and we've got chemistry. Cancer, this person wants you. This person is attracted to you. This person doesn't want to be without you because when they are without you, they miss you. They crave you. Okay. Um, I, I feel like you don't believe this person, you know, right now you are feeling that this person is, you know, trying to mess up your head. They're trying to feed you a fantasy. Um, cancer, I feel like you're exhausting yourself with jumping back and forth as to like one minute, it feels good to believe this person. The next minute you're running away scared. I feel like you're stressed out. You're scared over third party influences. If this person cheated, on you a lot or if this person allowed friends or family members to come in between you um, you're living in a very 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 painful energy of fear uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and trying to avoid being hurt and trying to maintain some form of control over the relationship okay yeah you're you're try that's what you're doing here do we see this being overcome do we see this being overcome, please? So we've got beauty and we've got longing. I, I feel like what's happening here is cancer. Your person is craving and aching for the beautiful soul that they originally fell in love with. The kind hearted, graceful, charming person, you know, but you're resisting this cancer. You're resisting healing. You are. Um, I feel like this person through intimacy and loyalty they will end up healing uh, your abandonment issues here. They will end up calming the storm inside of you, okay? You think it's your intuition that's telling you to withdraw and just be alone and single where it's safe, but it's not your intuition. It's pain. Okay. It's your fear, your pain, your trauma that is forcing, it's uh, guiding you to push this person away and get scared and run away like a little, you know, deer, you know, um, I feel like this person is, is aware that they have hurt you deeply and with love, loyalty, commitment, uh, and continuously, continuously opening up lines of communication and intimacy, this person will eventually heal your heart. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into singles spirit. Tell me about my cancer singles, please. Tell me about my cancer singles, please. So I do see, um, either you are a mature man or you have a mature man, uh, coming in to you towards you. Okay. You may work for this person. This could be your boss possibly, you know, because I'm seeing like, uh, you know, a, an employee and a boss maybe. So that is a possibility. Okay. Um, I feel like cancer, this is somebody that is very career oriented. Okay. And you may be too. Okay. You may be too. Um, if you're going to college or going to a course for something, you may meet this person there. Okay. 
this is a twin flame connection okay twin flame twin soul this is the person that you're meant to have a family with um, if you are not in childbearing years you may have children and they may have children and you guys are gonna come together in this Brady Bunch type style thing where everybody gets along okay um, we've got freedom here and we've got triangle cancer I feel like many of you have freed yourself from a third-party situation with someone here that was very immature okay very immature so this is going to be very soothing to the soul here because this is somebody that is going to court you and in a, in a traditional way this is someone that's going to be very giving this is someone that likes to surprise you with presents this is someone that will do anything to see you smile okay I feel like um, the person that you're coming uh, that's coming towards you you've experienced multiple past lives with this person they may be lighter than darker so if this person is african-american or you know Haitian or Jamaican or whatever you know even Cubans could be extremely dark um, <clears throat> it, they're on the lighter side you know if this person's white then they're like Casper white you know they're like really pale okay um, this person may have blue eyes this person may have light hair there's something about them that's more lighter than darker and another thing I'm getting from that card cancer is that this person has worked a lot on their shadow work so this person may actually present themselves as like a light in the darkness here okay I feel like this person is going to make you feel young again. You're going to start paying attention to your looks. You're going to start listening to music more. There's going to be more joy around you. You're going to start going shopping, liking, uh, you know, dressing nice again. You're going to start feeling yourself again because this person is nourishing you. This person loves to take you out. They love to watch you laugh. They like to go to concerts. They just, they like to do things that, that, you know, it's just a good time, okay? With home and communication here, Cancer, there's going to be a lot of communication about the future with this person that is coming into your life, okay? Um, with karma, it, it says karma here, toxic <coughs> story or new opportunities. So this could be a representation of bad karma or good karma. And I feel like this is a new opportunity and it is good karma. This is new love. We've got dating queen here. This person's going to spoil you. Um, this person Person may love it when you wear red or red lipstick they may like it when your hair is curly um, you know this is someone very giving very loving this is someone that instead of wanting to see you cry they always want to see you smile this is someone that will go above and beyond to make you happy and what's going to happen is it's going to rejuvenate you you're going to start to feel younger feel yourself feel sexier feel more attractive focusing on the way you look focusing on you know but that music it brings joy into the home just you're gonna feel more youthful because you're in love okay all right so let's go ahead and get some financial messages for you tell me about my cancer babies finances and career please tell me about my cancer babies finances and career please okay don't buy it it's not worth the money and double check everything many of you may have your tax money coming in spirit is saying don't buy it it's not worth the money double check everything that you're buying okay okay Spirit is saying expect a call or a message and walking away is the right decision. So Cancer, there may be some type of offer that's coming towards you financially and Spirit is saying walking away uh, from this is not is the right decision, okay? Uh, whatever this call or message that's coming towards you is, turning it down is the right decision. A big expense will soon present itself and credit score dropping, okay? So Cancer, some of you need to watch your credit score because a big expense is going to present itself and I feel like for some of you, you may have to pay for something on your credit card which may make your credit score drop. Do not loan money at this time. So I feel like, Cancer, if you guys have cash on hand, what might end up happening is you may loan someone a large chunk of money and then you have a big expense that you can't pay for and you have to put it on a credit card and that's going to cause your credit card uh, to drop, okay?
speak up for yourself, you need to take some time off. So Cancer, many of you are overworked and I wanted to say underfucked. <laughs> Stop! Oh my God. So Cancer, some of you are, are working too much and you need to speak up for yourself. And this could even be an energy of in your home life too. You know, your your children are too inconsiderate, constantly leaving a mess for you. Your, your spouse may be just a, a bigger child than your children. It's like people are just expecting too much from you, both in work and in the home place, you know, and you need some time to rest. You need to take a day off, okay? Anything else here for financial messages? Okay, so Spirit is saying you're doing too many uh, projects at one time. Okay, so, you know, maybe uh, focus on one or two projects at one time. Your boss or business partner dislike you. So Spirit is advising you to keep your next move a secret. You are manifesting success to the point that people are going to be jealous of this success. Okay, okay. So Cancer, for some of you, you are in a, a, a in a position where you work for somebody and your boss or business partner or whatever dislike you. I feel like if you're in a business partnership, you may be trying to detach and go off on your own, keep it a secret, and it's going to be very successful. If you are working for a company and you're deciding to start your own business and go off on your own, stay on the down low. Don't tell any, you know, don't tell anyone your business, especially not coworkers. Okay. Um, it's going to be very su successful. Spirit is saying to invest. It will be successful. Do not take any risks at this time with telling people your business because they will betray you false promises. They may promise you that they're not going to say anything. They will. Spirit is reminding you to tithe. Okay. Be sure to give to those less fortunate. It will bring blessings and to focus on that work-life balance so that this way you do not cut corners and you do things the right way. When you're tired and your mind is tired, you may, you know, uh, cut corners to get things done. Spirit is saying it's better to rest and do things the right way than to force yourself and not have your mind and uh, you know as sharp as it should be when you're doing things all right let's see what other financial messages we have here for my cancer babies tell me about cancer please sun moon rising and venus Okay, so we've got a lucrative idea coming to you. I see many of you um, being an entrepreneur and it's going to be something very creative. You're going to be inspired to do something here and it's going to create a very uh, prosperous income source for you. Okay, with gift, we've got giving and receiving, sudden windfall, generosity, financial support, work surprise, and vacation. So Cancer, some of you may have this silly little idea that you're inspired to do you're like okay i think you know this is going to be a, a nice little thing for me to do as a side hustle i'm not going to like quit my job or anything you know i'm just going to go ahead and do it you know uh maybe like i don't know making candles it relaxes you you know and you feel like it's something where you know you could be making meditation candles or you know spiritually protective candles and you feel like it's helping other people and you find it relaxing or maybe you're making jewelry or maybe you're doing something here and you're like you know it's going to be a little side hustle i like to do it and it helps people so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do it you know this may end up you know being so successful that you just like you wake up one morning and you got a windfall of orders and you're like holy goodness what am i supposed to do now you know so it might be a surprise in the workplace that this silly little idea that you had um just because you know it makes you feel better may actually take off okay so Cancer, be careful if you get this windfall of money or if things take off because especially if you're coming from a place where money has been tight, you know, you may be spending money left and right and you have no idea where money is going because it feels so good to have money after, you know, a long time of not having money. So Spirit is saying to, you know, remain focused and watch where you're spending your money. I am seeing a lot of money coming in for you, Cancer. A lot of sales, getting a raise. You're going to be very lucky and fortunate with whatever this new idea idea is. And I feel, Cancer, that whatever you're being called to do, it's your life pur purpose. It's more than, I mean, the money about, about this situation is great, but I feel like 
especially for those of you that whatever you're picking up on, um, it's counseling or it's about following a divine path or, you know, if you're doing something to help other people, it's like you're, you're following your life's purpose. So it's going to be like, I mean, it's going to be like the icing on the cake that you could make so much money following your life purpose, helping other people, and you're gaining spiritual wealth by doing this because you're gaining good karma by helping other people, okay? All right, my loves, let's go ahead and get into Cancer and all 12 signs. Spirit, tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. Tell me about Cancer and all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Oh, what am I doing? Tell me about Cancer, please. And all 12 signs, please. Aries to Pisces. All right, if we're dealing with an Aries, we've got the Death card, the Judgment card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Emperor. Hot damn. Oh my gosh, I'm about to go find me an Aries. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, this person has made a solid decision to change. Whatever you've been praying for, wishing for, manifesting, it is coming to you because this Aries is leveling, le leveling up. Daddy is home, baby. All right, uh, if we're dealing with a Taurus, we've got the Six of Wands, we've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Taurus, this is someone um, that wants your attention, they want to make you happy, they want to succeed in working things out with you, and I feel like they're going to. If we're dealing with a Gemini, we've got the Four of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Hanged Man, and Temperance. Cancer, there is a Gemini here that has that has been in love with you for a very, very long time, okay? Um, but this person, they miss you, they yearn for you, but they won't come forward. You know, they won't come forward. Um, if we're dealing with a Cancer, we've got the Five of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Cancer, if you're dealing with another Cancer, this is someone that has a lot of regrets over the way they handled something in the past. The Six of Pentacles can talk about, you know, um, uh, breadcrumbing a situation, giving to another situation. Someone here is wishing they would have said no or left someone out of the picture or not brought someone into this. Like maybe someone had a best friend that was too involved or someone had a family member that was too involved or they cheated and brought a third party in, you know. Uh, someone's wishing that they would have protected the connection better. If we're dealing with a Leo, we've got the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, if you're dealing with a Leo, Leo, this is someone that wants to talk. They want to do more than talk, okay? Um, but I feel like with the Eight of Cups here and the Ten of Pentacles, this is someone that's claiming that they're going to leave something behind. Uh, it could be a relationship that they're in, or if they live at a distance, they're willing to leave everything behind to make it work with you. If we're dealing with a Virgo, we've got the Ten of Cups, we've got the Hermit, we've got the Lover's Card, and we've got the Seven of, Seven of Wands. Cancer, this is a Virgo that may be tempted by some a, a third party, but they are not not acting on it right away this person's going to analyze and think about what they really want and I feel like this person's choosing you and they will end up denying this third party if we're dealing with a Libra, we've got the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the Strength card. So, Cancer, if you're dealing with a Libra, this is someone that likes to frustrate you and put you in competition with other people. I feel like you're holding back your energy from this Libra until you know that you're the only one. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Cancer, I feel like there's an energy of this Scorpio holds too many secrets. You never know or understand this person you're constantly in an energy of confusion and mental torment and I feel like because of this reason you're going to end up just pushing this person out of your energy if we're dealing with a Sag two of swords two of wands seven of swords and the hierophant cancer if there's a Sag in your energy I feel like you might be uh staying at a stalemate with this person um 
I feel like you guys are too different. You know, you're very loyal, committed, solid, stable. Your word has value, whereas this person is a pathological liar. So I feel like because of that, you guys, you're more morally, you're very different. You have different values. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Cancer, there's a Capricorn that may want to reconcile with you, but I feel that, you know, this person is not where you're at. You're sitting in Empress energy. This person is still a player. This is like the worst combination ever. You know, they want to reconcile, but I feel like they're going to bring nothing but grief to you. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, we've got the Queen of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is someone that doesn't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go, but at the same time, I feel like this person has someone else in their life and they want to just come in and out of your life. Like they, they want to string you along so that you don't move on. They don't want to let go of whoever they're with, but they don't want you to leave either. If we're dealing with a Pisces, the Six of Swords, the King of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Magician. Cancer, this is a Pisces that's very uh, passionate about the connection. This is somebody that really wants forward movement. Whatever they're promising here, I feel like they're going to put their money where their mouth is. Okay. All right, guys, that is what I got for you. I hope everybody enjoyed. I love you all so very much, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, my darlings.